Boom! We are live, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to the Life is a Chad YouTube channel. I thank all of you for being here, wherever you may be. And of course, however you may be listening. So I it never fails to disappoint. The internet really, truly is a magnificent beast. I always tell people, I, I don't I don't believe that the internet or really any tool for that matter is innately evil uh it's the intention behind the human being that is either good or evil when it comes to said tool for example i mean you could even take something such as well actually no i was going to say pornography but no i think that that is 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 an example of a of a tool uh, that is created that is from the very get-go an evil uh debaucherous thing but for the most part you take tools like the internet and you know uh various uh programs and things like that and if you are intentional or intentional with your goodness behind it i think you'll be able to utilize it for good you know such as facebook instagram things like that and I was listening to a certain stream that YouTube may censor. I may pull it up. We'll we'll see. Uh, it was a fundraiser stream. I'll just leave it at that. And it had Elijah Schaefer on, who I've done. I covered his whole situation from the blaze. And as you guys know, I was pretty fair and... You know, I really did not condemn the guy uh, from a 500 foot view and not being immersed or knowing the guy personally, this and that. I think I was pretty fair uh, in my assessment of the situation. And they brought up Calendar Gate. And I had never heard of this until that stream. And I thought, we got to fucking react to this. We have to. We just have to. It's a must. And because this hits so many elements of everything that I've talked about on this channel, supremely the Khan Inc. movement and these Thotterette Trad Khan fakers that are, of course, just happen to be female. And I've told you guys on many occasions, whether it is a uh, quote-unquote Trabcon woman or a OnlyFans chick that goes on Fresh and Fit or whatever the case may be. There is a motivation across the board behind why they do what they do. And it's pretty much the same across the board. And... I'm not saying you should be mad about it. I, in fact, I would, I would argue against that. I don't think that this reality should make you mad. I think you should understand it and proceed accordingly. But I have, on multiple occasions, advocated for if you are a man and a conservative man, hell, it doesn't matter. Conservative doesn't matter. But yes, I would say specifically conservative men because they're they're closer to the truth in my eyes than some of these liberal uh, beta cucks and simps. But I have strongly advocated against following these conservative women. And at the very least, I have advocated for you just thinking about and intro providing an introspection on why it is that you watch their content. What is the motivation for you specifically to watch a Sidney Watson, a uh, Lauren Southern, a, you know, Lauren Chen, even though I, I think Lauren Chen is probably the best of the bunch, but all of these Barbie looking quote unquote trab con women half of which are as debaucherous and degenerate as the liberals on the other side, godless heathens on the other side that we condemn. 
And I simply ask that you just truly and honestly ask yourself why it is that you watch their content over others. Is it truly because of the content that they push and the substance behind it, the words that they say? And nine times out of 10, I can almost guarantee you the answer is no. Okay. So anyways, I have not seen the calendar and, you know, if you think it's too risque, you can, of course, just turn your phone away or your tablet away and not check it out. But I do have an an article popped up here. So we'll check out the article and see what it says. So I typed in calendar gate conservative and... From Know Your Meme, it says, what is Calendar Gate, the intro right-wing feud on X? And then this one from Washington Examiner. Oops, just dropped my iPad. Uh, from Washington Examiner. Let's check that one out. The conservative pinup calendar is harmless kitsch. I don't know what kitsch means. Let's see. <laughs> Let's take a look. Let's see what kitsch means. Objects or design considered to be in poor taste because of access, excess garnishes or sentimentality, but sometimes appreciated in an ironic or knowing way. Okay. Okay. It's a, it's a very difficult situation. All right. Um, let's take a peek -see. In the dumbest possible online non-traversy, non that has been branded calendar gate, a handful of conservatives and disproportionately conservative women are apologetic over a calendar or apoplectic over a calendar featuring photo shoots of various right-wing bloggers and influencers meant to lampoon the leftist notions that men can be women and that anorexia and obesity are considered beautiful by Hollywood and the corporate media. The Real Women of America 2024 calendar operates as a part pinup and part not-so-subtle advertisement for the creator, conservative dad and his ultra-right-wing bear. Yeah, I, 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 you know, I've been to the South. I, I love the South. This is just a side note, but I don't, I really don't like this, like victim mentality, this co-opted, you know, that, that right wingers are these are, are across the board, the, the, uh, you know, blue collar, not educated, not intelligent, not articulate. And I'm, by the way, that's not me saying that if you are a blue collar worker, that, I don't respect you and value your work. I do. But I I think that in the conservative movement, there are certain tropes that we have fallen into. And I'm specifically against the whole victim thing because you do not win playing the victim. You, you never do. Okay. Um, you know, like for example, Anthony Oliver, uh, the song that he did, that song to me is the pinnacle of what I'm referring to. And this kind of, uh, you know, ain't got no job, ain't got this, ain't got that. But I, that's maybe a different rant for a different time. It is kitschy. The photo shoots boast a relatively low production value and the aesthetic is certainly catering to a working class sensibility not the world of high fashion or museum curation. But the calendar itself is anodyne and innocuous at worst and a fine celebration of frail, frail conser <laughs> conservative women of all races and healthy, attractive body types. It's PG-13 and tolerably cringe. But pinups are neither meant to be high art nor nography or whatever it is, It's PG-13 
intolerably, oh, oops, already read that. The most scant, the most scantily dressed model is the bikini clad cover star, Riley Gaines. Shocker. Nobody cares about Riley Gaines. How much more does the right wing need to promote Riley Gaines? Do we even know that she's actually conservative? Or is it just the whole fucking, you know, this whole transgender argument, you know, men can't be women, women can't be nonsense. Gosh, the right wing has just like blasted her at every turn, like, to make her this princess of conservatism. It's fucking ridiculous. It's like, what what she said is not th honestly that brave. It, everybody knows it. Everybody knows that a man who competed in the male side of sports, who then changed to women, probably should not do that. He's going to dominate. Okay. Everybody knows that. <clears throat> uh, it's PG 13 and tolerably, but I will say though, you know, I, I do appreciate her trying to move the needle appearing in front of cro Congress and things like that. I, I do appreciate that. Okay. I, I don't want to completely downplay, <clears throat> but I, it's like, of course she's in it. Like, I'm not surprised. Um, so who became a conservative celebrity celebrity as a collegiate swimmer who competed against biological male Leah Thomas and the rest of the models are fully clothed, you know? And yeah, that's a great point there. Like, you know how many men conservative men have been saying exactly what the fuck she's been saying even before she said it. And are they multi-million millionaires from, just that one take, hell no, okay? It's ridiculous. But part of it is that, of you know, we got conservative simps who fucking buy this shit up. You know, you go, girl. You're an example of what a real woman is. You go. So this is, uh, that hasn't stopped yet another right-wing outrage cycle. Question, what's the conservative antidote to feminism? A, take your shirt off, get in the tub, and arch your back for the camera, kiddo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I know that's probably a, a liberal who said that, but. <clears throat> okay, l let's see if we can find this shit. Conservative. And the fact that it's called conservative dad is stupid. But again, this is some, this goes along with, oh, great. I have to do a verification of my age. Well, I'm, I'm still trying to find it. This is one of the pictures right here. Um, Let's see if this one has any more. Okay, so here's one. Uh, Liz Wheeler being a mom, even though, you know, she's totally, it's just, I can't, th the one thing that I really can't stand about all of this is this fake, faux, traditional woman bullshit where all of these women by definition, most of them don't have kids. Most of them are not married. By definition of them having a show, working for 40 hour, whatever the fuck they work per week with their stupid ass show. Okay. And then being in the limelight, finger wagging and saying, this is wrong. This is wrong. You, you know, you need to do, live like this. And, you know, by definition is not what a traditional woman is. A traditional woman is you know it when you see it it's a woman who bears children who is submissive who has a respect for masculine authority and and uh patriarchal authority it has a good relationship with the father with brothers things like that is very feminine and being very feminine is being soft gentle kind but most of the time with these 
tra- you know, trad con women, I feel like I'm being squawked at 24 <laughs> seven. Uh, a real conservative women calendar that wasn't just about <clears throat> titillating men would definitely have included something like this gorgeous photo of Liz Wheeler. Who I don't know if this one's actually in it though. Okay, so I don't I don't think that that's actually I don't think that that's actually in it. Uh, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna type in calendar dad. Let's see. Let's see what we find, guys. Yeah, this I totally agree. Next year's conservative dad calendar should be like this. I completely agree. This this right here is exactly what I envision when I think about a traditional woman right there, okay? Where they're they're in their home, they're in their nest, and, and they're just fucking killing it. They're killing it in their nest. And, you know, they have all of this life around them because they, they've helped, they, they have birthed all of this life. And they're and they're loving, they're nurturing, they're caring. They whip up food every two seconds. All right, so I think this is it. <laughs> Shocker, Sarah Gonzalez is in this. Shocker, Dana Loish, Dana Loish. Dana does have a a, a a spectacular face. I I will say what. I do agree with that. Okay, it's not really getting any bigger. Ashley St. Clair right here. Brittany Jean. At, dang, Ashley St. Clair is in this like six times. I mean, she is, Ashley St. Clair definitely is attractive, but but most most of these girls, I would say, are pretty mid. As I always describe it, they are non-300 pound average women. That any other point in time would be average for the, you know, any other point in history would be average skinny women. But in today's day and age where half of the female population is obese, they seem a lot better than they, they really are. So I guess those are the pictures, but uh, this is from, this is from... Allie Beth Stucky, you can probably guess what I think about a calendar branded for conservative dads, quote unquote, filled with pictures of women, many of them married and many of them scantily clad. Hate it. I also find the discourse ridiculous, as if we're all supposed to pretend we don't understand the purpose of a calendar of posed, fully body pictures of women. You can call me a prude, puritanical or jealous of these women's beauty, whatever makes you feel better. I just don't see the value in marketing what's basically in some photos soft um, to married or unmarried men. Of course, these and I do. I agree with that part of it, that this is for <laughs> you know what this calendar is for boomer. Boomer conservative dads or and men that no longer have sex with their wives, sadly, and have a beer belly. They drink beer. You know, they 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 drink beer on a Friday, drink beer on a Saturday. And that's, you know, and, and they, and, and, and this calendar is their one taste of some of that good, good from their wife. Their wife gets it to them as a gift. <laughs> Their wife gets it to him as a gift. And, you know, the husband's like, oh, thank you, honey. Oh, th- oh, thank you, honey. Thank you for my gift. Thank you for my gift. Are you sure? Did I? Or, and some of the guys are like, I, you know, their wife gets it. I don't even like it. Oh, oh, you got me this crap. You got me this crap. Meanwhile, it's underneath his mattress. 24 seven, seven days a week. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you, honey. 
I've been a good boy this year. <laughs> I've been a good boy this year. Just let me just let me get a beer and let me enjoy this conservative dad. I've been a good boy. Fucking pathetic. So I do agree with that sentiment. <laughs> Woo! All right, let's see. Uh, of course, these women are gorgeous. And of course, I'm all for celebrating, tr celebrating true femininity in an age that can't define woman. In my view, this doesn't accomplish that at all. And yeah, if, if that is the aim, which it's not, the aim was to sell and profit off of, uh, off of, uh, coomers and simpers. Um, not trying to cause drama, but if that was the goal, let's just try and be good faith here. If that was the goal, the the, the primary goal, the the pictures they showed are women acting like fucking men. You know, these boss babe fucking, you know, darlings of the right wing, you know, women of the 21st century taking taking conservatism by the balls. <laughs> Yes, that's what it is. Women of the 21st century grabbing grabbing and taking conservatism by the balls one nut at a time. Oh, man. Not trying to cause drama with the participants, some of whom I think are doing great, courageous work. And I'm a women prattle. And I'm aware there may be bigger battles to fight than this, but I happen to know that there are many Christian conservatives who share the same perspective behind the scenes, and I wanted to give them a voice. Yeah, I'm, yeah, right. Qu quit bullshitting, Allie. Allie, come on, just say what you got to say. Fuck. You ain't, you don't talk to any normal conservatives, please. <clears throat> the polarization between Christian and secular conservatism is going to grow, my friends. So buckle up. I and I do agree with that as well. I absolutely agree with that as well. <clears throat> I'm trying to find, like I said, if you don't want, if if I I'm, <laughs> I'm just trying to find it for you know, uh, you know, I'm doing YouTube, okay. If you don't think it's right to to check it out, then that's fine. Um, that's totally up to you. So, um, but this is just for educational purposes. Uh, the real conservative dad's calendar, 2024 calendar of liturgical seasons. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> I, I, you know, the only other thing I'm stunned that they didn't put Blair White in it. <laughs> Damn, bruh, bruh, bruh. All right. I, I don't really see it. I don't think any of this is it. But yeah, I mean, like I said, I that's really what it is, is uh, conservative women acting masculine and you know it promoting this you know you know uh look at these successful modern real women you know it, there's nothing traditional conservative about it and i do agree that this kind of libertarian conservatism secular non-christian centered conservatism versus paleo Christian nationalist conservatism is definitely coming to a head. And, uh, you know, there's definitely one side that's winning right now. And I would say it's the paleo conservatism, but, um, yeah, I, I don't, <clears throat> I don't see it. Let's see. Um, I'll do this here. Uh, calendar dad. Let's see if we can find it in the images. Yeah, looks like we can. 
So that's one of them is Riley Gaines. Okay. Uh, let's see what this one is. I don't know who that is, but this is, oh my gosh, she's in a fucking bathtub, bro. Wow. That's a little, <laughs> that's pretty fucking risque, bro. Isn't, isn't Dana, I mean, like I said, she used to, she definitely has a very blessed face, but isn't she like fucking 70 years old at this point? How fucking old is Dana? Let's see. Dana Loish? Dana Loish? She's 45 years old, dude. Fuck. She's fucking a grandma at this point. She's hopping on this shit. Come on, Dana. Uh, I really do like th this one that we saw, that this is what the picture should have been. And I completely agree. I completely agree. This is absolutely what the picture should have been is something like this celebrating the family the the nuclear family motherhood fem um uh true feminine qualities nurturing uh uh um uh, fuck what do you call it uh so anyways th this is what it should have been I, I said it earlier in the video, it's uh, women uh, nesting, nesting, you know, true nesting. Uh, that's what they, that's what it should have been. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I, I don't see, that's pretty much it. I, you know, we did pretty much see all the photos in that one shot. It was just kind of small. Let me see if I can maybe get it a little bit bigger here. I don't know if this picture right here is a part of it. I think it is. But guys, this is not a new thing, okay? On Instagram, on Snapchat, I don't, you know, I don't have Snapchat, but, uh, or Instagram. Maybe if the channel grows, I'll create an Instagram. But uh, there are accounts of what's called hot female conservatives. And really all it is, is just models wearing, you know, MAGA shirts and, and and make America great again uh, apparel. That that's really what it is. But this is not new. This is not a new concept. This has been going on for the last couple of years. So here's another one. I don't know who this person is, but uh, and I think that this is a fair point from Peachy Keenan. Uh, Riley, we love that you stood up for young girls who don't want men ogling them ogling them in the locker room while they get undressed now please get undressed so conservative dads can ogle you i think that's a fair point honestly um like i said i'm gonna see if i can get the the one that i saw here let's see if i can get maybe get this downloaded so that i can make it bigger so this is about as big as I can make it. You know, you basically have Ashley St. Clair posing as a slutty uh, woman from the 1950s. Um, you know, you got super in shape Bethany Bartlett. And then you have, you know, Riley Gaines at the bottom. Kim Klasik. I don't... Half these girls, I don't know who they are. I definitely know... Ashley, Dana, Sarah, because I covered that story with, um, I covered that story with, uh, with, uh, about Elijah Schaefer and her. So, and Dana, you know, she, she's had a lot of discussions with Gavin McInnes and I, I have watched a lot of Gavin McInnes in the past. So that's pretty much it guys on that. Let's see if we, we can find a few more reactions to this. And keep it rolling here. 
Let's see. All these damn, all these damn pop-ups. Um, Amber Perez. The the infighting even existed to Twitter slash X as wrong think host Anna Perez went after calendar model Josie, the red headed libertarian who went after Perez for criticizing the calendar, twisting yourself into a pretzel to compare my headshot profile picture to a calendar shoot made for dads to lust after. This is what happens when you're desperate to justify a poor decision you made. We have become so callous as a society to the constant broadcasting of SEX everywhere that we don't even bat an eyelash anymore to actual exploitation, especially if it's soft, soft. Perhaps more disturbing, though, is the fact that this calendar is marketed to dads. Men should honor women, and fathers especially have a duty to honor the mother of the children and to set an example for those children, both in public and in private. Couldn't agree more. Could not agree more. The, the other element, the other side of the... And, and by the way, guys, I want this to be known. I wish I would have said this at the beginning of the video. I'm not trying to virtue signal here. I, I'll give my final take about all this at the end. But I agree. One of the biggest elements of a traditional woman is modesty, is not sharing your body for other men to see. Men and women have different things. And this is, see, what Riley, Ga women like Riley Gaines and Ashley St. Clair and all these dumb bimbos don't understand is that the very foundation that was laid that allowed for Aliyah Thomas or whatever the fuck her name is who competed in woman swimming, female swimming, is the same foundation behind Riley Gaines thinking that it's okay to pose for a photo like this and that it's okay. It's feminism. It is this egalitarian mindset and, and it really let's take away the the feminism label it's egalitarianism where men and we, women are equal across the board they're the exact same they they are not inherently different anything you can do i can do better i can do anything better than you that bullshit and that is why they don't, they, it's hard for them to conceptualize the idea of, okay, I value different things in men than men compared to what men value in women. And she's not alone. I mean, a majority of women in the in the West struggle to realize and, and come to terms with what men find attractive about women. And yes, it is modesty. Yes, it is this this kind of um, uh, ch you know chaste, uh, um, you know good presentation. You know, it's it, it. I'll tell you what it's not. It's not the selling of your body for for thousands upon thousands of other men to uh, be able to look at basically by your own invitation it's purity that's the word i'm looking for men value purity in their woman they 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 value a woman who you know cuz men idealize women they look at women they see their beauty and that's where the whole phrase uh, sugar, you know, sugar and spice and all things nice came from, you know, men, I'll, I'll give you another example of kind of how men idealize women, men, you know, you ask most men if they really think that women fart or, or, you know, shit like that. No, they don't. <laughs> Why? Because men idealize women. They don't, they don't see women in the same light that they see their fellow man. It's a, it's a very idealized picture where this men where this man 
you know, works and works and works and, and is triumphant. And a part of him being triumphant is this picturesque, pure, good, modest woman who loves him and respects him and admires him. That's how it went for years and years and years. And in the last 100 years, we've gone away from that. And, and so really the main point is that the same foundation that allows for the Eliot, you know, the, the whatever Thomas to compete in female swimming is the same foundation behind Riley Gaines and Ashley St. Clair thinking that it's okay and it's just fine for them to pose for a calendar for a beer company, for a fucking beer company, Okay. So here's my final thoughts on this, guys. Like I said, I don't want a virtue signal here. Does it offend me? No, not really, okay? I'm not really easily offended. Do I think it should offend? No, not necessarily. There's a difference between being offended and pointing out issues and inconsistencies. All these people who have pointed out hypocrisy and issues surrounding this, I'm perfectly okay with, okay? The, the main thing, and this is what Elijah Schaefer said on the stream that he went on, and I completely agree with him, is that, honestly, are you really surprised that in this day and age, we're pretty much all women, the currents, and, and this has been the case for years, but it's even more so now because of the technology that exists, okay? The, the currency that women deal in or, or or the currency that they buy is attention. The currency that men buy is sex, okay? Not, not, not always literally, okay? It's both literally and metaphorically. But but the, the main interest for both sexes are those specific things. And, and they're different. For men, it's sex. For women, it's attention, okay? So this is not a new phenomenon, and, and especially in today's day and age. So what I'm getting at is, is it truly surprising that some conservative, you know, some women who basically go online, as I've been arguing for the past year or so, to receive attention vis-a-vis -vis their, you know, average political takes, is the same reason why they pose for a conservative dad beer company calendar shoot. It's the attention. So is it really surprising that they sought some attention through this calendar? Of course not. Okay. Because, you know, when you really think about it, it's like, it's, it's not the money. Okay. Maybe that's like a small part of it. But, you know, when you really get down to the, the fundamental of this, it's like, you know, these women could have just as easily posted these pictures on their Instagram and do, okay? I guarantee they do. But they needed even more. They needed even more attention. They, they needed even more value placed on their looks. Even when women say that they wish that men didn't value them on their looks and, and only their looks and this and that. Deep down, it's innate in women to show off for the attention. Men receive what they want in the being able to look at a beautiful object and, and this and that. And women receive what they want to receive vis-a-vis -vis the attention. And that is really, if you're a Christian, that's really what you're battling against. You're, you're battling against your sinful nature, okay? You know, if you're a man, you're battling against this constant lustfulness, this, this constant desire to see women naked and, and be with a naked woman and, and this and that. If you're a woman, you're, it's, it's you battling against this constant need for attention, okay? And there's many ways in which it can be done. You know, some women seek attention through gossiping and lies and, and manipulation, and some women use their looks for it. So in the end, is it really surprising that these women did it? Of course not, okay? And for the women who were arguing 
and this is coming from a, a male conservative here, for the women who were arguing that it was hypocritical and that it that it wasn't traditional and you know it, it wasn't what they were trying to uh, achieve. They missed the mark. Honestly, you guys are not that traditional either. And that's really the crux of this, okay? Is all of these women, instead of being true traditional women who support, love, and build up a family, a, a nest, while while supporting and, and loving on their husband and their kids and, and caring for them, instead of putting 100% attention into that, they're putting this this kind of 25% energy into this dumbass, uh, you know, political arena where they can satisfy their attentional needs, which again is all women who are in this space. So really at the end of the day, even though these women pointed out some some good issues and and some errors in this really they do what they do for the same exact reason it's just to maybe a lesser degree but it's still fundamentally the same thing does it mean that sometimes they don't bring up good points and and they don't bring up some some valuable um truths that that again key point are truths of course not you know even a, cl a clock is wrong twice twice a day or right two times or whatever the fuck it is. Even a broken clock is right two times a day. So, but for me, okay, I'm not surprised by this and you shouldn't be either. And the final thing that I really want to hammer home here is if you are a guy that does struggle with this and I think... Unfortunately, there are a lot of men who do. You need to unfollow immediately these women and stop simping, okay? Because you can just as easily satisfy your political thirst to stay engaged and stay involved through men. And if you are traditional, quite frankly, I could make a case that you being taught to by women about these issues is not correct. So anyways, when I saw this, I thought it was an excellent, excellent example of what I've been talking about for the past year. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section about this calendar dad, dad, uh, bear company pinup, uh, calendar. Uh, and, uh, anyways, guys, I'm recording this a day before new year's. I hope you guys, if I don't make another video, I hope you guys have an excellent new year's. I am going to try and make one more, at least one more video in the next day or so. Take advantage of some of this free time. I thank you guys for all of your support. Uh, I really, really do. And I just want you to know in light of this story, one thing the thing that is, you may, ultimately, guys, you may disagree with me. You may not like me, whatever the case may be. You may not like my jib. I Who fucking knows, okay? But I do care about the truth. And I want to be a proponent for the truth. I am not saying that I am the end-all, be-all or that you should only listen to me when it comes to how you should live your life and things like that. But just know, regardless of all of that, that I do care about that. And that that ultimately, because that is what God calls us to do, is ultimately what my purpose is. That is the most important thing to me. All right, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe. You guys know the drill. Last but not least, DBAP, don't be a pussy willow and facts or feelings because your feelings just don't matter. Love you, King. See you guys next time. Crisis King. Peace.